Well, coronavirus certainly didn't stop voters from casting their ballots in Spartanburg District 3. They are voting on a couple of things, a new mayor and a tax cut that could help fund school construction. 7 News anchor Kimberly Brown takes a closer look. At a time when face masks are encouraged, voters did show up to cast their ballots to hopefully lower taxes and to build a better school. And you're number 17. July 14th is special election day for Spartanburg District 3. Some came out to vote for a new mayor, while others were focused on a referendum that would give them a tax break. Everybody wants lower taxes. You know, if we can get it, we can get it. If approved, voters are saying yes to funding, repairs, and clearing debt. Supporting the referendum also provides a tax cut for boats, homes, cars, and even small businesses. If it passes, it allows the district to fix all of our schools and fix Cliffdale Middle School a decade faster than our current plan. In essence, the current tax of $155 per $100,000 home would decrease to $47 for the same property. It's a change that most say is worth the effort. Nothing's going to change if we don't change it ourselves. Destination 311 is the website guide the district put up to help voters understand how the referendum will affect current and future property taxes through masks, hand wipes, and even shields. <laughs> voters still exercising their right to vote. We get anywhere from 350 to 500 people. I'm expecting at least 350. Voter turnout traditionally low in this area, but today the turnout was pretty brisk. Reporting from Packlet, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Today's special election in District 3 is one of about 70 local elections that had to be postponed, of course, because of COVID.